Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brian and in this video I want to tell you about a great laptop, Asus TUF Gaming F17. It doesn't feature the latest generation CPU and GPU inside, but as for the money, it is one of the best laptops you can find for gaming and streaming purposes. We will talk about its specs, memory upgrade options, in-game performance and so on, so ladies and gentlemen, sit back and enjoy. First of all, the laptop has a huge 17.3-inch Full HD IPS display, which is perfect for gaming. Its refresh rate is 144Hz and it provides absolutely zero lag experience. Everything is so smooth, it's really a pleasure to use it. The screen brightness level is average for this price point, it's 270 nits and it's enough for every purpose this laptop was made for. But the downside of this panel is the color accuracy, which won't be enough for professionals in graphic design sphere. But ladies and gentlemen, overall the screen is fine on this one, and I also like that the bezels around it are pretty narrow, and the overall design of the laptop is awesome. Honestly, I'm a fan of a more classic styles, but this thing is so well built, and the color accents they chose are really eye-catching. It also has some kind of military grade construction features, so they say it has better damage resistance. I haven't tested it personally, but it feels real solid. It's also pretty heavy and I don't think it is a perfect laptop for travels. It's actually big and its weight is clearly felt in a backpack. But there is another reason why it's heavy. The hardware it has inside as well as the upgrade options are fantastic at this price point. The CPU we got is a 10th generation 4 cores Intel Core i5 CPU, which is perfect to pair with Nvidia GTX 1650 Ti graphics card. The base frequency of the CPU is 2.5 GHz and in Turbo Boost mode it goes all the way up to 4.5 GHz, which is actually amazing. It is a great suit for gaming and live streaming, data processing, coding and emulating operation systems, architecture projects, 3D animations and so on. And the 1650 Ti has 4GB of video memory on board and its TGP is 80 watts. It's absolutely enough to run most games at high graphic settings and keep the frame rate over 60 per second. Ladies and gentlemen, right now on your screens you can see the list of games which I have tested personally on this laptop and as you can see the results are absolutely satisfying, especially taking into account the laptop's price. All the games were tested with the graphic settings set to high and the resolution at 1920 by 1080 pixels. And dropping the graphic settings to medium will increase frame rates by approximately 30%. So if you're planning to stream games, this is the way I recommend to do it. Drop the settings a little bit and the experience will be mind-blowing. Now ladies and gentlemen, all these testings take hell of a lot of time to do and I would really appreciate your likes below this video, it will help my channel to grow faster and cheer me up. Thank you in advance. Alright, so the next thing we are going to talk about is the random access memory and its upgrade options. The laptop comes with only 8GB of DDR4 RAM on board, working at 3200MHz and what is said, there is only one stick pre-installed so it works in a single channel mode. To boost your gaming and work experience dramatically, it is highly recommended to install another 8GB RAM stick, I'll leave a link to a perfectly suitable one in the description box for you and trust me, this tiny little $30 upgrade is absolutely worth it. Talking about the storage, it comes with a single 3rd generation M2 SSD pre-installed, which is a 512GB capacity unit, and if that's not enough for you, you can easily install another PCIe SSD inside, there is an empty slot for that, plus there is also some space to add a 2.5 inch hard drive or a full size SSD. So let's just say that the memory upgrade opportunities are well covered by the manufacturer, they are freaking insane. Another fantastic feature I want to mention is that even though this thing has an RJ45 port for fast cable internet, it also supports 6 generation Wi-Fi, which is an awesome bonus. Yeah, and the port selection is rich on this one, there are 3 USB type A's, HDMI 2.0 port, a single USB type C with display port 1.4, combined audio jack and of course a charging port. With this rich set, you can easily build a full-size gaming setup with huge external monitors, connect your favorite keyboard and mouse, a good pair of headphones, an external camera if you're a streamer and enjoy the process on a whole another level. By the way, the integrated camera is a 720p HD webcam which provides decent quality, definitely enough for video calls and conferences as well as for starting streamers. 
The keyboard here is above the average, it's really comfortable with well-placed keys as for gaming and as for typing text, well, I typed this whole script on this keyboard and it's 6065 characters and so far so good. Works like clock. It's backlit by the way, it features a number pad and it's pretty clicky. In a good way, I like its sounding. The battery of this laptop is definitely something you would expect from a gaming device, it holds up to 3.5 hours watching movies online and much less doing something more power consuming. Like 1.5 hours of gaming, obviously with reduced performance. This is the laptop which has to be plugged in 98% of the time, so keep that in mind. Now ladies and gentlemen, I think that's it for the review, we've come through the laptop's pros and cons and I really hope this video was helpful for you. Definitely check the description box, there is a lot of useful info there. Also check out my telegram channel, deals of the day with the best Amazon discounts to save up some money on your next purchase. And ladies and gentlemen, see you in the next video.